all right so welcome back to my channel you guys i hope you're excited for today's video because i am trying new products um that i recently got or hauled or anything like that so i am really excited for y'all to see this video but before that um i do want to talk about my hairstyle because y'all have never seen this on my channel um but i was watching my youtube videos and i saw um you love megs if i said it correctly i will link her video down below but she did this like really cute space bun look and i just had to like you know recreate it and yeah with that being said if you want to see how i got this entire look then go ahead and keep on watching so let me wipe some of this lip balm off because i look like i have chicken grease on my lips and i'm not trying to look like that the whole video so this should be good to go um but moving on to the first product i do want to let you guys know that i've tried already but i kind of want to try it again because i didn't have the first um first impressions and it's the patrick tom major brow shape and wax and i did tell you guys i ordered um tinted but it came in clear instead so even though it says it's clear on my brows i feel like you can kind of see like the white cast on there which is the reason why i didn't like it but Here's the packaging, super cute. And also I did get their brush as well, the Patrick Ta um, dual ended brow brush. So I did get the two together. So I'm gonna try it again and see um, if I like it on my brows. So how this works basically is you grab the brush let me get that out for you guys and I know I told you guys in that video that the brush isn't a necessity but at the same time I feel like it works really well together so I do recommend it um, but what I did was grab my morphe um, continuous set and mist and I sprayed it onto the actual wax itself then you do grab the spoolie and just go back and forth just to really coat the brush itself and with this i don't want to put too much y'all because i learned my lesson the last time i don't want a white cast on my brows so i'm just going to brush it through and show you guys what i do with it So I do hope y'all can see what I'm doing on camera, but I'm just basically brushing my hair up. Um, that's the whole point of the wax to give you like that laminated look um, that a lot of people like nowadays. So I'm just brushing it through my brows. So now once you're done applying the product on your brows, what he actually did was grab the other end of the brush itself and you're gonna laminate your brows. So all you have to do is just take this part and push it against your skin. So I think I'm done laminating, so I will show you guys up close what it looks like. But this brow has all the product on it, and this one has nothing on it, so y'all can see the difference. But the reason why I really like it is because with the wax, it will stay straight up throughout the day, so that's the whole point of it. The first time, I had a lot of white casts on my brows, and I just did not like the color more than anything, but I love the formula. Um, but I do think it looks a lot better now that, you know, I didn't apply so much product. Um, I do still want to pick up the shade Tinted just because that's the one that I originally wanted to get, but they sent me Claire, so I don't know what happened with Sephora, but the formula is good. So now moving on to the face, I do have a foundation you guys told me to pick up and try because y'all told me it's really good. And it's a Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation in the shade 530 Henna. And I've been wearing it y'all and honestly, it's really good like i'm not gonna sit here and lie if you have oily skin or dry skin i don't think it matters i feel like it works for everybody out there um but the shade 530 henna a lot of y'all told me that this would be too dark for my skin um it does have a neutral undertone and to be honest i put it on and it's not that bad um a lot of people out there are picking up the shade 510 which is a little bit more golden and of course like the typical shade um, that I usually go for. But for some reason, I felt 530 will work for my skin. So I will put it on and show you guys what it looks like in a little bit. But I do have to prime my skin. I'm using the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer and of course my Canon Austin Prime and Protect Mattifying Primer. So let me apply this on my face. So next I'm taking my Canon Austin Prime and Protect Mattifying Primer and I'll just apply this in my T-zone. So 
So I did color correct off camera just because I feel like not everybody out there color corrects, but I still do just because I have a lot of dark marks on my skin. Um, but moving on to the foundation itself, I love the foundation, guys. I cannot wait to try it. So before I start my videos, um, I'm super lazy, so I wash my beauty blender, of course, but I don't squeeze all the water out just because when it's time to film, I can just grab my towel and then like you know squeeze the water out and it's still wet. Um, so that's what I've been doing lately. In case y'all want to try it out because I mean I can't be the only one lazy out here so I have my beauty blender of course but let's move on to the foundation itself this is 530 henna um, but what I want to do right now is actually use a brush first just to get the coverage I want on my skin then I will go in with a beauty blender after to smooth it out but I've been seeing a lot of people do this recently and their skin always looks so flawless so I'm just gonna copy them and see what it looks like on my skin as well but y'all can tell the shade on my skin is not too off okay like i know 530 looks super dark online on sephora but on my skin i think it matches perfectly and i feel like the brush method is actually working for me because typically when it comes to covering up the dark marks on my skin um i have to go in with a lot of layers with foundation and blend it out with the beauty blender but with the brush is giving me a lot of coverage on my skin so i really really like that as I look at my viewfinder I'm not gonna lie to y'all like with all these lights on the foundation is a little bit a little bit darker okay than what I thought I don't know I don't know what I see in my everyday life but it is a little bit darker I'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all so um, once I conceal it'll look fine afterwards but I may need to go and get shade 510 because this is a tad bit dark on my skin but the coverage looks really nice as well I know right now it looks super glowy and if you're oily you're probably like Chi Chi like this is not gonna work for the skin trust me it will because once it's set down it is just not moving at all and it really controls my oils as well but it is a little bit dark I'm not gonna lie <laughs> So now moving on to concealer, I do have two today and I have the CoverFX PowerPlay Concealer in the shade Deep 2 and also the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer in the shade Maple. So I'm going to conceal first and just let it kind of sit on my skin. That way once I apply my contour, you know, by the time I blend it out, it's a little bit more coverage. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of this underneath the eyes. and also highlight the rest of my face. And then also I will take my Hourglass Concealer and apply this just in the inner corner of my eyes. So while my concealer sits on my skin for a couple minutes, I'm actually gonna use the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Cream Bronzer and I have it in the shade Chocolate. Y'all know how I feel about this um, cream bronzer. It's not my favorite shade out there. I love the formula, but not the color. Um, but I did see in that video as well, a lot of people told me to use it with a brush and it will probably make a little bit of a difference. So that's what I'm gonna do today instead. Um, I don't remember what brush this is. It's an Eco Tools brush I just don't know which one it is but I'm gonna take the shade in chocolate and just contour my skin or bronze my skin sorry bronze my skin even though to me it's a contour shade Now I will say it does look a little bit better with a brush, all right? Because when I used the sponge, you couldn't really see the color on my skin at all. But at the same time, it still has like that gray undertone that I don't like on my skin at all. I want it to be very warm and rich. And with this, it's giving me like contour vibes more than anything. But I'm gonna blend it out with my sponge and really share it out. Um, I already know what this will look like on my skin. It kind of disappears into nothing, just being honest. Um, but I will go in my Fenty Beauty bronzer a little bit later on. And I'm sure y'all can see what I mean on camera. It just blends into the skin, which is why I love the formula. But as far as the shade, like y'all can't really see like the warmth, you know, that the bronzer is supposed to give off. Um, it just blends right into the skin more than anything.
So now that my concealer is blended out, y'all can see that it just looks really great with the foundation. Like it kind of counteracts um, the foundation color and just looks a lot, a lot better on the skin. So I kind of like going in with a darker foundation just because once I blend, you know, my concealer and all that good stuff, it just matches my skin. Because typically when I go in my foundation shade and the conceal and highlights, I just look super light in the face compared to the rest of my body. But when I go in with a darker foundation and apply a concealer and highlight and all that good stuff, y'all know, um, basically it just looks like my skin tone. So I kind of like that trick, just being honest. Um, but now typically when it comes to my under eyes, you guys know I usually use my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in the shade Kanafa, but today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, let me grab my brush. Now this powder, um, a lot of people in my comments were telling me that they really want to see what it looks like on my skin, and it's an Urban Decay All Nighter um, Long Grand Mattifying Weightless Waterproof Setting Powder. Um, the word waterproof just got me just because like... It just makes it seem like your foundation and your makeup is not moving at all throughout the day. And I will show y'all the packaging up close because look at it. Look at all that raindrops and just water. It's just super, super pretty. So let me take this powder. I'm going to blend out my concealer first just to make sure I don't have any creases. And what I saw um, Andrea do, Renee, on YouTube, she actually uses this for her t-zone like her under eyes and like your chin and all of that so i'm just going to take this powder on a brush first and just set everything and see what it looks like by itself i'm still going to go in and bake my face but i just want to see what the powder looks like by itself and also i forgot to mention that it claims to be a translucent powder and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it is a translucent powder on the skin because y'all know <laughs> these powders out there will say it's translucent and then you put it on and it's super white on the face. Um, I'm not sure with this if you do get flashback, but for right now, I will say it's blended into my skin really, really nicely. So I'm gonna try the other side now and come up a little bit closer so y'all can see what I mean. But it really just sets everything on the skin and it doesn't add like any white cast to it at all super super pretty on the skin but because i'm doing an eyeshadow look i'm still gonna bake my face just because like i told y'all i don't want the powder to get all over um so i'm just gonna use my huda beauty easy bake powder in the shade kanafa and just apply it on the skin So now we're gonna move on to the eyes itself and I'm super, super excited because I have a palette that I haven't tried yet. I'm so excited to try it out because it's one of my favorite movies out there and it's the Milan um, Times Disney and Color Pop, you know, palette. I was about to say collection, but they did have a whole collection. But I just got the palette itself. Um, but I wanna show y'all what it looks like because I love Milan, y'all. Like, honestly, I love everything about it. It's my favorite movie out there. I'm not even lying to y'all. And this palette is just so unique and different. Like, the details in here is just on point. And then once you open it up, this is what it looks like as well. So you do have Milan and all these pretty eyeshadows. So looking at the palette, I'm not sure what I want to do for my eyes just because there's so many different routes um, to take with this. But I kind of want to go a little bit basic today just because I want to do like a winged liner. So I don't want anything too crazy on the eyes. So we'll see what I come up with. Um, but let's prime the lids. I'm going to use my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor number six. So let me grab my brushes, but for the palette, I think the shade I want to start off with is called Strength. Um, it's like that caramel brown shade that a lot of people use in their crease. So I'm just going to start off with that and see what it looks like. Um, I've never tried ColourPop's eyeshadows before, so I don't know how pigmented it is. But I do believe it's really good because a lot of people out there um, always say great things about it. So I think it's going to be really nice on the lids. Let me start off with strength and just put that in my crease. Okay, so y'all can see the pigment because this is very, very beautiful in the crease. Um, It's not as brown as I thought it would be. It looks a little bit red, but it still looks super pretty in the crease, y'all. Um, I wasn't expecting this, so let me keep blending this out a little bit more. But the pigment is definitely, definitely there. 
So the next shade I want to go in with is called Honor. And to me, this is more of a neutral brown. And I also want to put this in my crease just to kind of diffuse the color that I already have in my crease as well. So I'll show y'all what I mean. Um, but basically, I kind of want to soften the red tone that I do have going on in my crease. So I will say the shade actually helped in terms of like, you know, diffusing the red in my crease. It's a little bit more toned down now. So what I'm actually going to do is go in with the shade called Guidance Spirit. And I think the look that I'm going for now is more of like a smoked out winged eyeliner look. So it's super easy and simple to follow. So I'm going to take Guidance Spirit on the outer corner of my eye and just really build the shade up. And basically what I'm doing is just packing this color on my lids on the outer corner of my eye because we will go in with a darker shade later on. And I'm really impressed with ColourPop's eyeshadows, y'all. Like, I didn't know they were this good. Like, it's so creamy, so pigmented, and it blends really well um, at the same time. So the next shade I think I want to go in with is called True, and it's more of like a charcoal color more than anything so i'm just gonna take a little bit of this and hopefully it's dark enough to give like that winged out effect i'm looking for so i'm gonna take some of this onto my mac 217 brush and just apply it directly on the outer corner of my eye i'm not gonna lie once i put this on i thought it would be too gray for the eyes but the more i pack it on it has like that nice effect of like a black, you know, eyeshadow, but it's not too dark for my eyes. So this next part, I was actually gonna do off camera, but I do want the eyeshadow to be a little bit cleaner and sharper. So I did clean this area up, but I did wanna show you guys what I did. So I grabbed my all nighter powder and I took the Morphe um, M432 brush and just packed a little bit of the powder onto the brush itself. So then what I did was I kind of just lined up, like create like a little imaginary line and just drag it out like so. And then once I have that line, I just remove the excess powder from the face and then I will show y'all what it looks like. And now the eyeshadow is a lot cleaner and not like as messy as it was before. I do want to go in with the shade called Imperial. Um, it's like an off-white with a hint of gray in there. So I'm just going to pack this onto the brush and put it on the lids. I know it's super basic. Like, looking at this palette, y'all, like, I could have done so many looks. But um, I just kind of want to do, like, a natural smoky eye type of look, if y'all know what I mean. <laughs> So the eyeshadow is finally completed and I really like how it turned out. Um, I'm actually going to apply some eyeliner just to make it a little bit more dramatic, but I'll do that off camera because honestly, y'all, like when it comes to doing eyeliner on camera, it's just, I've been in situations and it's just, it's just not good. Okay. Just being honest. So for lashes, I did want to show you guys the LA Colors 3D Foam Mink Lashes and this is not sponsored. Um, they did send this to me probably a month or two ago and they have so many different lash styles in here it's just super cute um once i figure out what style i'm using i'll let y'all know but i think i may use tristan oh ooh. how about emerson because emerson to me gives off like that winged out lash that i'm looking for so i'll probably go in with emerson But moving on back to the face, I'm actually going to set my entire face with the Urban Decay All Nighter um, Waterproof Setting Powder in the shade Translucent all over my face so y'all can see what it looks like. I think I've seen a review on this before a long time ago and somebody said it does give flashback when you take pictures. So make sure you test that out first if you are wearing this powder at night and you have like an event or something like that. But for today, I'm not going anywhere. So I'm just going to set my entire face with the powder. And it just came to me that I forgot to tell you guys what I did for the rest of my eyes because I added a bit of color um, on my waterline. So I actually used a shade called Strength, the one that I put in my crease originally. And that's all I did and applied a little bit of mascara. So very, very simple. Um, but for bronzer, I'm using my Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Coconutty, of course.
All right, so moving on to one of my favorite parts. I do have the Fenty Beauty Cream blushes, and I have Rose Latte and also Summertime Wine, and these blushes, y'all, are everything to me. Honestly, if you do wear the blush, you don't need highlighter because it does give like a natural glow to the cheeks. But for today's video, I'm gonna use the shade Rose Latte. And how I apply this is I take my beauty blender, and this is clean, I promise, but it's just so stained to the point where like I can't get the color out. Um, but I do take my beauty blender and just kind of swivel it into the blush itself. And then I just tap it on my cheeks. And I feel like I applied a little bit too much, but the good part about these blushes is they are sheer, so you can kind of like, you know, blend it out and it'll be fine. But this is Rose Latte on the cheeks. I just, I love this blush because it looks very natural and it's almost like a nude blush for me, for my skin tone. So I absolutely love it. So I know when it comes to a highlighter, I said that, you know, you really didn't need it. But with this, I kind of want to like, you know, be a little bit more glowy. So I'm going to use my Tarte Spotlight um, Cream Highlighter. And what I do with this is I typically put it on the back of my hand. And then I grab my brush. I use a Morphe M510 brush and just really go hard on the product like so. And then I just apply it like this. Now I will say what it does for me is add like a little bit of glow, but it looks very, very natural on the skin because it is a cream product. So it just melts right into your skin. But this is my favorite way to apply this because I used to like put it directly on my skin back in the day and it just, I don't know, it didn't look good on me. So I have been doing it this way ever since. All right, so to finish up the lips, I'm gonna use the Mented Nude La La lipstick, and I've been loving this a lot um, as of lately just because it kind of looks like lip gloss on the lips, and I just love the shade as well. And then to line my lips, I'm gonna use the MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. All right, so here's the makeup look completed. Let me know your thoughts down below. But honestly, you guys, if you do ask me, I think it turned out really nicely. Like all the products I use, I really liked except for the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer. Y'all know how I feel about that. But besides that, I mean, all the new products were really nice and they turned out really great on my face as well. So really happy about that. I so hope you guys enjoyed this video. And before you do leave, make sure you like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one.